Hello everyone, I'm Trevor Crippen, Program Quality Director for District 31 Toastmasters. On March 2nd, 2021, I ran a live webinar called Free Toast Toast Easy Club Administration. Free Toast Toast is a web host service specifically for Toastmasters clubs. If you'd like to learn more about Free Toast Toast, you can go to toastmastersclubs.org slash welcome. In this session, I spoke on the different modules that you can use within the administration settings on Free Toast Toast. And I've broken up the session into multiple videos, each one focusing on a specific module. If you'd like to learn more about getting started with Free Toast Toast, check out our video called Getting Started with Free Toast Toast, created by Christine Lewis in 2019. I'll post a link in the description. Agendas, as I said at the intro, are what Toastmasters clubs tend to use Free Toast Toast for the most, and they know them pretty well and have them set up. But I'll get into some of the ways in which you can customize your agenda now. Now on the Free Toast Toast, you have this button here, Agenda Templates and Settings. So in this case, you do have some global settings you can set up with to make sure that you are, um, that you have consistent agendas once you start creating them. There are options to have people confirm their roles after the fact or not. You can show, um, you can say how many agendas appear on the list of past agendas. So if you wanna show your past five agendas, you can show those or your past three, you can reduce it there. And there are tools for when um, people are sign up for something, if you wanna be notified of that. So if you want, if, some, if whenever somebody signs up for a role or drops a role, you wanna get an email, you can say, hey, vice president of education gets an email. If you don't want your inbox spammed with people signing up for roles or marking them that they'll be attending, then you don't have to uh, have email notifications for any of those, but it is an option to receive those notifications. And you can also create a few uh, templates, some boilerplate text for a speech introduction um, or a list of, uh, um, a list of uh, role identifications for different role reports. Um, at the top of every agenda, you'll have a default description. Typically, you want to just have your club mission and uh, welcome to our meeting. Or you can also add um, any other fun facts that you want to add up there. But it's just the basic thing at the top of your agenda. <coughs> and then you can create these templates that have certain start times. And this is how you get a good basis to go. Um, you might have a default template here with a start time at 12. You can even set a meeting venue. You can add venues to the system. Say, Zoom is my meeting venue. And uh, write down, contact us for Zoom link. And you can save that as a venue and add them to your meetings at the top. And that'll appear up there. And then once you have a default set up, you can start inputting individual roles on an agenda and what they might look like. Now let's go to an agenda that already exists and play around with the editing function on there. Once you have an, a, a default set up, here's, here's an hour long meeting with two speakers. And there are some defaults in the system that you can get from Toastmasters as well when you create a new template. So you don't have to start from scratch. You can save, uh, you can create a meeting based on a Toastmasters template, then save that as your own template. Where do you get those, Trevor? If you go to, to create a new agenda, just on the meeting agendas field and hit the plus symbol, you have a, an option to create from an agenda template. And in there you will, no matter what club you're a part of, even if you're starting from scratch, you'll have sample system templates that were created by Free Toast Toast. 
So let's um, change to a default start time or change it to whatever you have as your default start time. And we'll create a new agenda on uh, March 16th, sure, with the, with the default template. And here I could save that and look at this new agenda using their default functionality, which is pretty decent. It has the sign up functions for all of the helper roles, the two evaluators, two speeches, some table topics. And you can adjust these within for your own particular meeting setup. Anyone that you have in the access settings to be able to edit or create agendas um, can find this little pencil. And you can also set it up so that a, uh, the Toastmaster, for example, might be able to edit the agenda. So you can say Toastmaster, this is a role. Um, this per person assigned to this role can edit the meeting agenda. So that is a box that you can check for a given role and allow them to use the pencil tool as well. <coughs> Once you have the pencil tool open, you can assign anybody you want to the role. So I'll assign myself as Toastmaster. You can move agenda items around and you can delete agenda items. So I'll show you a quick example of something that you might often find yourself needing to do for a Toastmasters meeting. Is say you only have one speaker for the meeting. In this case, you may you would want to delete the introduction for the speaker two, speaker two, and their evaluator, evaluator two, and you would end up with something that looks like this. Now you'll notice your meeting now is ends 12 minutes earlier. So you say, wanna spend more time on table topics, just go in here, change the duration assigned to table topics from 10 minutes to 10 plus 12 is 22 and save there. And now quick and easy, you have shortened your meeting from um, two speakers to one speaker. Oh my gosh, there's my picture over and over again because I've signed up for every role. And now you have table topics filling out the time needed and your time meeting still ending at one o'clock. So that's a, that's a pretty quick and easy way of adjusting your meeting times in order to uh, um, fit the particular meeting situation that you have that day. Another thing you might have to do is say, uh, speaker, speaker one signs up, but they say, oh, I'd like to do a, um, a longer speech project. Say we'd like to do an 18 to 22 minute, um, one of the higher end capstone projects in level four, or level five. In this case, maybe we could change the assigned duration for that project if they've indicated that to 20 minutes. And then you can look here and say, okay, now the meeting's an ending 113. So now I need to subtract that amount of time from table topics, go down to nine minutes and save in order to end at one o'clock again, now that you have speaker one taking up 20 minutes on the agenda instead of taking up just seven. You can ask people to mark their attendance and you can create attendance reports later on um, that show how often people have been to particular meetings. And the report functionality is uh, this little person icon next to the print agenda and you can pull up member role reports, meeting attendance reports, um, and you can do it for the current year for all meetings or select a start date um, for pulling up these reports. And attendance isn't something that you necessarily have to rely on the members to self-report as well. Um, if you have a past meeting, you can mark down attendance of people say, um, right here. So your secretary keeps attendance at the meeting. They can go in here or the VP of education and mark that yes, Trevor attended or no, Trevor did not attend and mark that for everyone after the fact uh, as part of the agenda reconciliation process so that your attendance reports are accurate. 